In travel news, for July 24th, 2024, we talk about Delta Airlines grappling with massive flight disruptions due to a tech outage, a large-scale protest in Majorca against mass tourism, and Mount Etna's eruption causing significant travel disruptions in Sicily. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, an award-winning travel agency that makes travel so easy. Even a blind traveler like myself can do it. And now, today in travel. Delta Airlines is grappling with significant operational issues following a major technology outage on July 19th. The disruptions have resulted in thousands of flight cancellations and delays, affecting countless travelers. The U.S. Department of Transportation has launched an investigation into Delta's handling of the situation. The July 19th technology outage has continued to disrupt Delta's operations, with the airline struggling to restore normal service. As of July 23rd, Delta had canceled over 5,400 mainline flights and delayed more than 7,700. The outage caused by a failure in the CrowdStrike Cybersecurity Vendors Windows update has left Delta's crews and passengers stranded, leading to long lines at major hubs such as Atlanta, Minneapolis, Detroit, Salt Lake City, and Los Angeles. Delta's recovery efforts have been hampered by the complexity of their IT systems, which require manual repairs and synchronization. Despite the airline's attempts to notify customers via text and the Fly Delta app, the overwhelming volume of rebooking requests has led to performance issues with their digital tools. The Department of Transportation Office of Aviation Consumer Protection has opened an investigation into Delta's operational meltdown. The Transportation Secretary emphasized the importance of Delta honoring its customer service commitments and adhering to legal requirements. This investigation is reminiscent of a similar probe into Southwest Airlines 2022 holiday season disruptions, which resulted in significant penalties. Delta has stated its full cooperation with the Department of Transportation and has reassured passengers that it is working tirelessly to restore reliable service. The airline has also reiterated its commitment to compensating affected passengers through SkyMile points, travel vouchers, and reimbursement for hotel, meal, and ground transportation expenses. For travelers, the ongoing disruptions have been frustrating and costly. Many passengers, such as those with the highest Sky Miles loyalty statuses, have expressed dissatisfaction with the handling of delays and cancellations. Delta's specialized call centers and rebooking tools have been overwhelmed, leading to long wait times and limited assistance. The airline's travel waiver allows passengers to rebook their travel without incurring fare differences for journeys beginning by July 28th. However, the uncertainty and inconvenience have led some travelers to rebook with other airlines. The current situation highlights the importance of being prepared for unexpected travel disruptions. Passengers should stay informed about their rights and available compensation options. Delta's commitment to ensuring travel vouchers and Sky Miles points provides some relief, but travelers should also consider alternative airlines if disruptions persist. For future trips, purchasing travel insurance, and maintaining flexible travel plans can mitigate the impact of such events. Additionally, staying connected through the airline apps and monitoring updates from airlines can help travelers make informed decisions during crisis. Delta's operational difficulties following the July 19th technology outage have had significant repercussions for travelers. The Department of Transportation investigation underscores the need for airlines to uphold passenger rights and maintain robust contingency plans. As Delta works to restore its services, affected passengers should take advantage of available compensation and explore alternative travel options. If necessary, 
The situation serves as a reminder of the importance of preparedness and flexibility in travel planning. Mass tourism on the island of Malarca has sparked significant backlash, culminating in a large-scale protest on July 21st. Thousands of residents took to the streets of Palma de Mallorca, expressing their frustrations and calling for a more sustainable tourism model. On Sunday, July 21st, 2024, approximately 50 thousand people, according to organizers, marched through the streets of Palma de Mallorca. The protest highlighted the detrimental effects of mass tourism on the island. Participants carried signs with messages such as, tourists, we love you when you don't buy our land, and your paradise is our nightmare. The demonstration began around 7 p.m. local time and saw participation from around 110 different groups and social movements. Police estimate the numbers of protesters to be closer to 12,000 people. The primary demands of the protest included limiting the number of tourists, improving access to housing, enhancing public services, and conserving natural areas. Majorca, the largest of the Balearic Islands, is a popular tourist destination that welcomed 14.4 million visitors last year. While tourism is a significant economic driver, it has also led to several adverse effects on the local community. Residents argue that the current tourism model primarily benefits a small segment of the population, leaving many workers impoverished. The influx of tourists has contributed to a housing crisis with locals finding it increasingly difficult to afford homes due to rising property prices driven by demand from travelers. Public services are also strained, struggling to keep up with the increased population during peak tourist seasons. Additionally, the environmental impact of mass tourism has raised concerns about the sustainability of the island's natural resources. One significant factor contributing to the housing crisis in Mallorca is the prevalence of short-term rentals, such as those offered by Airbnb. Locals claim these rentals reduce the availability of affordable housing for residents, driving up property prices and making it difficult for local families to find suitable accommodations. The high demand for tourist accommodations often leads property owners to prefer short-term rentals over long-term leases, exacerbating the housing shortage and inflating rental costs. The protest in Mallorca is part of a broader trend of anti-tourism sentiment in Spain. Earlier in July, demonstrators in Barcelona sprayed tourists with water and marched through the city chanting, tourists go home. Similarly, in April, residents of the Canary Islands went on a hunger strike protesting against the negative impacts of excessive tourism. The Balearic Islands have already implemented measures to curb the negative effects of tourism. In May, new rules were introduced banning street drinking in key tourist areas of Ibiza and Mallorca, with exceptions for terraces and licensed areas. These measures aim to reduce public disturbances and maintain order in heavily visited regions. For travelers, the growing protests against mass tourism underscore the need for more responsible and sustainable travel practices. Visitors to popular destinations like Mallorca should be mindful of their impact on local communities and the environment. Supporting local businesses, respecting local customs, and avoiding over-touristed areas can help mitigate some of the adverse effects. Responsible travel also involves choosing accommodations that do not contribute to the housing crisis. Instead of opting for short-term rentals like those offered by Airbnb, travelers should consider staying in hotels or other accommodations that do not displace local residents. This not only helps ensure that locals have access to affordable housing, but also supports regulated and sustainable tourism practices. By making conscious choices about where to stay, travelers can significantly reduce their negative impact on the destinations they visit. Travelers should also stay informed about any new regulations or restrictions that might affect their plans. 
Understanding the concerns of local residents and the measures being taken to address them can lead to a more respectful and enjoyable travel experience. The protests in Mallorca against mass tourism highlight significant challenges faced by local communities and popular tourist destinations. The demand for more sustainable tourist models, better housing, and improved public services reflect broader concerns about economic inequality and environmental degradation. As the tourism industry grapples with these issues, it is crucial for both travelers and policymakers to work towards more sustainable and equitable solutions. This situation serves as a reminder of the importance of responsible travel and the need to balance tourism with the well-being of local communities. Travel to and from the Italian island of Sicily was recently disrupted due to an eruption from Mount Etna. The volcanic activity caused Catania to close temporarily, leading to significant travel delays and cancellations. Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, erupted on July 23rd, sending an ash cloud five miles into the air. This forced the closure of Catania Airport, causing widespread disruptions for travelers. The airport's management announced that normal operations would resume once the ash fallout had ended, and indeed, the airport reopened around 6 p.m. local time on the same day. Despite the reopening, the initial closure led to numerous flight cancellations and diversions. Flights were redirected to Palermo Airport, Camiso Airport, and Trapani Airport. The disruption caused a ripple effect, with delays and cancellations extending beyond the immediate period of closure. Travelers should expect some continued delays as airlines work to re-establish normal schedules. Passengers with flights scheduled to depart from Catania were advised to check their flight status before heading to the airport. Even after the reopening, it is essential to stay updated on potential delays and rebookings. Flights that were scheduled during the closure were diverted to Palermo, Camiso, and Trapani, requiring passengers to arrange ground transportation to reach their final destinations. Given Sicily's large size, travel between airports can be lengthy. Palermo and Trapani are located on the island's west coast, requiring a four to five hour drive from Catania. In contrast, Camiso is closer with a two hour drive. Car hire services and coaches are available to assist with ground transportation. And during previous disruptions, airports have arranged free shuttle services for passengers. In the event of flight cancellations or significant delays, airlines are required to offer passengers an alternative flight or a refund. However, as the disruption is due to a volcanic eruption, compensation may not be guaranteed. Nevertheless, many airlines will strive to assist passengers in reaching their final destinations. Travel insurance is highly recommended as it may cover unexpected expenses related to the disruption. Despite the ongoing volcanic activity, Sicily is still considered safe for travelers. Hotels and tourist accommodations remain operational. Travelers should take standard precautions for hot weather, such as staying hydrated and avoiding prolonged exposure to the sun during peak hours. Additionally, those planning to explore areas near Mount Etna should adhere to local safety regulations and consider guided tours for a safer experience. The closure of Catania Airport due to Mount Etna's eruption underscores the importance of staying informed and prepared when traveling. Checking flight statuses regularly and having a flexible travel plan can alleviate some of the stress caused by unexpected disruptions. Understanding passenger rights and the compensation policies of airlines can also help travelers navigate such situations more effectively. For those currently in Sicily or planning to visit, taking advantage of alternative airports and arranging ground transportation in advance will be crucial. Ensuring travel insurance is in place can provide financial protection against unforeseen costs. The eruption of Mount Etna and the resulting closure of Catania Airport have significantly impacted travel plans for many visitors to Sicily. While the airport has reopened, the ripple effects of the delays and cancellations will take time to resolve. Travelers should stay informed and prepared for any changes. 
As always, prioritizing safety and flexibility will help ensure a smoother travel experience during such unexpected events. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, an award-winning travel agency that specializes in making travel easier for everyone. From the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled traveler, it's our belief that everybody deserves to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.